I should warn you, this video will leave you with more questions than answers. There are many mysteries in this world that not even the smartest people have been able to explain rationally and logically. Some things just escape our perception of reality or our capacity to reason. From an entire plane just vanishing into thin air for no reason, to a ciphered map to a treasure that no one has been able to decipher, here are 20 unsolved mysteries no one can explain. Number 20. The Incident at Dyatlov Pass between the 1st and 2nd of February 1959, in the northern Ural Mountains in Russia, nine hikers died in very mysterious and uncertain circumstances. Everyone in that group had a lot of experience in trekking. They all worked at the Ural Polytechnical Institute. The group was led by Igor Dyatlov, who had established a camp on the eastern slopes of Kolatsyakol. During the night, something unknown made them cut their way out of the tent and flee the campsite. They were not dressed accordingly for the sub-zero temperatures weather and heavy snowfall. They all tragically died, six of them of hypothermia, and the three other had been killed by physical trauma, according to Soviet authorities. Four of the bodies were found lying in a nearby creek in the water. Two of them were missing their eyes, one was missing his tongue, and another one his eyebrows. What could have possibly happened to them to cause such bizarre injuries? Some people at the time strongly believed that this was nothing more than a Soviet military experiment gone terribly wrong. Others thought it was a Yeti attack. But scientists today aren't so sure that's truly what happened. Researchers have recently presented data that suggests an unusually small and delayed avalanche could have been the culprit for the gruesome deaths of the nine hikers. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. Have you ever asked yourself where all the modern ghosts are? You know, usually ghosts are from the Victorian era or the Civil War. But what if I told you we finally have proof of a modern-day ghost? This photo was taken on a beach in Spain during the summer season. The beach was full of tourists and people just trying to relax and enjoy the good weather. Everyone was having a great time. The blonde girl you see in the foreground asked her boyfriend to take a picture of her to post on social media. He took the photograph and they went on with their day. Until they went back to the hotel and took a better look at the pictures. There's a man walking around without a torso and head. The man is literally cut in half but still standing and moving. How's that possible? The boyfriend thought it was just an optical effect due to the sunshine, but the girlfriend had an uneasy feeling about the whole thing. She took the photograph to a professional researcher. The researcher truly discovered what no one was supposed to see. Turns out, the pic is 100% genuine. There is no optical illusion, no Photoshop, nothing. This is truly a picture of a guy that was cut in half by two boats years before. His soul still haunts the beach where he died. Are you going to be able to enjoy the beach after seeing this? Do you believe this is a real ghost? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Who and where is D.B. Cooper? The disappearance of D.B. Cooper is considered as one of the greatest mysteries of the FBI's history. On Wednesday, November 24, 1971, the day before Thanksgiving, a man named Dan Cooper bought a $20 one-way ticket on the Northwest Orient Airlines in cash. He got a seat for Flight 305 from Portland, Oregon to Seattle, Washington. His seat was 18C, and he ordered a bourbon and soda. A little after takeoff, he handed the stewardess a note, and at first she just put it in her pocket, but Dan told her to better look at it carefully because he had a bomb. He made her sit next to him and actually opened his briefcase only to reveal the bomb. He also made her write down his demands and take it to the captain. He wanted $200,000 in cash, exclusively in $20 bills by 5 p.m. Also, two back parachutes and two front parachutes. And upon landing, he wanted a fuel truck ready to refuel and quote, no funny stuff or I'll do the job. Once they were at the airport, he exchanged the passengers for the money and the parachutes, but he kept some crew members with him. They all took off again with the direction of Mexico City. But when the plane was over Nevada, Cooper jumped out of the plane with the money and the parachutes, never to be seen again. 
Number 18. Cryptos This is a cryptographic puzzle that nobody's been able to solve for over 30 years. You think you could do it? Well, if you want to give it a try, you have to go pay a visit to the grounds of the Central Intelligence Agency in Langley, Florida. Cryptos is a 12-foot-tall scroll covered in seemingly nonsensical letters that no CIA agent in that building has been able to solve. Isn't that crazy? Imagine the frustration for the cryptographers by trade that work there to have to look at it every time they enter or exit the building. The infamous sculpture was created by an artist called Jim Sanborn. And for his creation's 30th anniversary, Sanborn has released a third and final clue to help intelligence agents and hobbyists alike to see if they can finally solve the riddle. According to Code Cracking Forums, thousands of people have already been trying their best, but to no avail whatsoever. Sanborn stated the following, It's a 97-character phrase, and that phrase is in itself a riddle. It's mysterious. It's gonna lead to something else. It's not gonna be finished when it's decoded, and the clue itself is northeast. Now, a lot of professional cryptographers think that the reason this thing hasn't been solved yet is precisely because it was created by an artist and not a professional. So I don't see why the person who finally cracks the code shouldn't be a civilian as well. What do you think? Number 17. Bimini Road. Also known as the Bimini Wall, this is an underwater rock formation located near North Bimini Island in the Bahamas, hence its name. The road is made of rectangular limestone blocks. You can't tell me that doesn't look like an ancient sunken city. This bizarre and mesmerizing rock formation rests on the seafloor about 18 feet below the surface. And alongside the Bimini Wall, there are not one, but two smaller linear underwater roads that look awfully similar. Now, what people have been asking for years is, how come the rocks have such a perfect geometrical shape? They really look like they were cut by human beings, but for what purpose and when exactly? Each block on the main road is between 10 and 13 feet long, so transportation would have been extremely challenging. The question begs to be asked, was this the road to Atlantis? I mean, the road is eerily perfect, and it has a lot of similar features as roads from the era. And let's not forget the fact that American mystic Edgar Cayce predicted back in 1938 the discovery of a road that would lead us to the ancient temples of Atlantis. He said this discovery would occur in 1969, and the Bimini Road was first discovered in 1968. So, not far. Number 16. Where are the Sodder children? This is the eerie and chilling story of five siblings who vanished after their home in Fayetteville, West Virginia went up in flames in 1945. It was on the morning of Christmas Day that the neighbors of Fayetteville woke up to an absolute tragedy. The Sodder home had burned to the ground, leaving five of their ten children dead. Or were they? Little Betty, 5, Jenny, 8, Louis, 9, Martha, 12, and Maurice, 14, were never to be heard from again. But their parents, George and Jenny Sodder, had a hunch that they didn't die in that fire. So much so, they even erected a billboard along Route 16, asking for any kind of information about their beloved young ones. Let's back up a little, though. Why would the parents be so convinced that foul play was involved here? Well, for starters, Jenny was awoken in the middle of the night by a very mysterious phone call. She could hear the voice of a man and glasses clinking in the background. She went back to bed and then was awoken once more by a loud bang and a rolling noise coming from the roof. Once the fire started to engulf their home, the parents and four of the kids escaped. When they called the fire department, there was no response, so Jenny and George tried every imaginable way to rescue the children that were still trapped in the fire. But George's ladder was nowhere to be seen, and neither of his trucks would start. And the most suspicious thing about this story is that they never found the remains of the children in the house. Number 15. Sickening Noises – Havana Syndrome this story is more of an international spy nature. In December 2016, a CIA officer was admitted to the American Embassy's health office in Havana after he reported feeling dizzy, nauseous, and having a headache. A few days later, two more CIA officers got admitted with exactly the same symptoms. Fast track to the end of the year 2018, and the number grew to 26 Americans and 13 Canadians. But now, the symptoms also included hearing loss, vertigo, nosebleeds, and even focusing issues. 
doctors found concussion-like afflictions, but no sign they'd suffered any. But the story gets weirder. Every single patient claimed that their illness was triggered by a strange noise they had heard at their hotel rooms. They described it as a high-pitched noise, or a beam of sound, pointed into their room. The Cubans vehemently denied any involvement from their part, and the Americans believed them. But the U.S. has many enemies. Could this be a new type of unknown weapon? There's one theory that states maybe a pair of covert hearing devices were placed too close to each other. That could have caused a kind of harmful feedback. The truth is, we still have no idea what caused all those agents to feel so sick. Number 14. The Bridge at Overton That Calls Dogs to Their Maker This 19th century bridge is located in Dumberton, Scotland, and is famous for a very sinister reason. They have dubbed it the Dog Suicide Bridge. And as it seems, for a long time, dating at least from the 1950s, dogs have inexplicably jumped to their death from the Overton Bridge. The situation is so bizarre and out of control that several news outlets have reported on the issue, and the bridge has even inspired at least one full-length book. Some reports claim that the number of doggos' deaths are in the hundreds, but numbers aside, there's no doubt that this bridge just takes over our beloved pet's souls and makes them jump. In some cases, the poor pets have survived the horrific fall, but not without suffering from vicious injuries. And at least one time, one poor furball jumped from the Overton Bridge, survived, ran up the slope once more, and jumped again. What could possibly make these animals want to do such a thing? Some animal behaviorists believe that the dogs can smell or see wild animals scurrying below the bridge, and they want to go after them. One thing is obvious, dogs certainly don't mean to kill themselves on purpose. Number 13. Earthquake Light we know that when an earthquake's going on, the last thing people normally do is stop and look at the sky. But as it turns out, there is a luminous aerial phenomenon called an earthquake light that appears in the sky or at areas of tectonic stress, as well as seismic activity and even a volcanic eruption. But the thing is, scientists have not yet agreed upon a consensual theory as to what causes this strange phenomena. Now, granted, these types of lights are relatively rare, but they've been observed enough times for us to know that it is an occurrence that needs an explanation and we simply don't have one yet. Accounts of them reach as far back as 1600. The lights come in different shapes and colors. In 1988, people reported a bright pink purple globe of light 11 days before an earthquake in Quebec. And in 2007, bright flashes that lit up the sky were captured in Peru before an 8.0 magnitude earthquake. Some scientists describe this phenomenon as if someone was to switch on a battery in the Earth's crust, which releases electrical charges into the air. Number 12. The Living Statues, The Sleeping Sickness After the First World War, as if the world hadn't seen enough suffering and pain, people had to embrace yet another horrific attack. They called it sleeping sickness, also known as lethargic encephalitis. Around the world, millions of people were suffering from this bizarre affliction. The disease attacks the brain, leaving some victims speechless and motionless. Some of them turned into living statues, locked inside their own bodies, unable to move a muscle. Others, unfortunately, perished. The disease spread like wildfire around the globe right about at the same time as the Spanish flu was also claiming 50 million lives. It was truly a very dark time for humanity. Sleeping sickness didn't kill as many people as the Spanish flu, and that's maybe the reason why it sparked little interest in doctors at the time. In other words, they had bigger fish to fry. The first victims of the sleeping sickness were soldiers. That's why some physicians thought at first that it could be the result of exposure to mustard gas, which was largely used during World War I. But when civilians also started to get ill, they needed another theory. Young people, particularly women, were the most vulnerable. When a person would get the disease, the first signs were usually a sore throat and fever, followed by an acute headache. But within only a few hours, and despite medical attention, the individual would be gripped by episodes of tremors, strange muscle spasms, and delayed mental response. In some cases, the patient would also suffer from psychosis and hallucinations. Among the few survivors, people tended to remain in a coma for a very long time. By 1928, as suddenly as it appeared, the epidemic suddenly disappeared. And we still don't really know what caused it exactly. Number 11. What is the Voynich Manuscript? 
This is the most mysterious manuscript in the entire world. Nobody knows who wrote it or what it says. The Voynich Manuscript is an illustrated codex in a completely unknown writing system and full of fantastical, nonsensical drawings. The vellum in which it was written has been successfully carbon dated to the early 15th century, and the style suggests it may have been created in Italy during the Italian Renaissance. The entire manuscript currently consists of about 240 pages, but there's evidence that some are missing, which just adds to the mystery about this ouvrage. And when I say there are about 240, that's because some pages are full sheets of varying size, but most of the pages have illustrations of diagrams, with some sections showing people, fictitious plants, astrological symbols, and even some drawings of battles. The text is written from left to right, which in Europe at the time was quite unheard of. The manuscript has been studied by many professors, historians, and even professional cryptographers, but nobody has the faintest idea of what it is. There's no doubt that it has some esoteric, obscure, and mystic origin. If this ouvrage had a secret to keep, it really is doing its job correctly. Number 10. The Rain Man this one's for all the paranormal lovers out there. On February 24th, 1983, the funeral of James Keyshaw was held. His grandson, Don Decker, was present at the ceremony, as was the rest of the family. But Decker had a very dark secret he had been keeping inside for years. His granddad abused him mercilessly for the longest time, and he didn't tell anybody. Don was also granted a furlough from the county jail to attend the funeral. He was serving a 4-12 to 12 month sentence for receiving stolen property. After the funeral, Don decided to spend the night with his friends Bob and Jennifer Kiefer. They were just hanging around telling stories from the past. So far, so good, but that's exactly when Don felt a very deep chill running down his spine. And immediately after, water started to pour down the walls of the living room. As soon as this strange and bizarre occurrence commenced, Don fell into a trance-like state. The married couple was just standing there trying to figure out what the heck was happening when things took a turn for the worse. The droplets of water started to travel horizontally. The water passed between the two of them and kept flowing into the next room. At this point, the Kiefers called the landlord and the police, who showed up quite quickly, and they were all witnesses of the same thing. The pots and pans over the stove started rattling in the kitchen, and Don started to levitate off the floor. Number 9. The Dark Matter at this point, we've all heard of the mysterious and powerful dark matter. Scientists say it makes up to 27% of the universe. But until recently, we weren't even able to see it. Now, that's not enough to get the curiosity going, right? Galaxies in our universe are literally achieving an impossible feat. They are rotating and spinning at such speeds that the gravity generated by their observable matter could not possibly hold them together. In other words, they move so insanely fast that by any laws of physics, they should have torn themselves apart a long time ago. So what exactly is going on? Scientists came to the conclusion that there must be an undetected energy that's giving galaxies extra mass, thus generating the extra gravity they require to stay intact. They called it dark matter since we couldn't actually see it. Think of it as the wind. You can't see the wind, you only know it's there because of its effects on other objects. For example, a tree branch moving, but the wind itself is invisible. Well, something similar happened with the almighty dark matter. But why couldn't we see it? Well, because dark matter is a very special kind of matter. It doesn't interact with the electromagnetic force, which means it doesn't absorb, emit, or reflect light. We know it's there, but don't really know much about it yet. Number 8. Time Traveler in March 2003, an FBI agent arrested a 44-year-old man named Andrew Carlson. Why? Well, because Carlson had just gone on the luckiest ride on the stock market in history. To put things into perspective, this guy somehow managed to turn an $800 investment into $350 million of profit in only two weeks. You can imagine why the FBI was a little suspicious and went straight for the arrest. But to everyone's surprise, Carlson nonchalantly talked for four hours straight explaining step by step how he did what he did. During his eccentric confession, he explained that all his 126 high-risk trades always paid off simply because he knew that they would. But 
how? Hold on to your hats, folks. Andrew Carlson confessed he was, in fact, a time traveler, from 250 years into the future, to be exact. We've all dreamed of buying bitcoins when they were first released, or investing in IBM back in the day if we had the chance of going back in time. Well, apparently, this guy managed to. Evidently, the FBI agents didn't buy a word of what he was telling them. If anyone would know about time traveling, it would be the US government, after all. But Andrew Carlson had somehow convinced them he had never had any illegal inside information. He simply came from the future. Eventually, as part of his plea deal, he offered to tell them the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden and the cure for AIDS. Number 7. The Underwater Ocean Wait, what? An underwater ocean? Aren't all oceans kind of underwater already? Uh, technically, yes. But wait till you find out what they've found under the ocean. A group of scientists has discovered that rock layers hundreds of miles down could hold vast amounts of water. This opens new and exciting theories about how our planet was formed some four and a half billion years ago. They think there may be a massive reservoir of water big enough to fill the Earth's oceans three times over trapped hundreds of miles beneath the surface. Hence the name of an underwater ocean, because, you see, it technically is under the ocean. The water is locked up in ringwoodite, which is a mineral. According to geologists, this may mean that our planet's water may actually come from within and not from the universe. The water could have been driven to the surface by geological activity. This is huge in the world of science, because until now, we all thought that our water was deposited here by icy comets hitting the Earth as it was forming as a planet. So basically, the water cycles our planet goes through aren't just happening at the surface, but also deep inside, just like volcanoes. Number 6. The Big Grey Man of Ben MacDewey in Scottish folklore, the Grey Man is the name given to a presence or a creature which is said to haunt the summit and passes of Ben MacDewey, which is the second highest mountain in the British Isles. Throughout the centuries, there have been many purported encounters of the Grey Man, but very few eyewitnesses have actually seen it, though. Legend has it, the Grey Man is very thin and stands at over 10 feet tall. He has dark hair and dark skin as well, with very long arms and broad shoulders. Ben MacDewey is a very foggy place, which procures a perfect scenario for the creature to go unnoticed. Most people know that it's creeping nearby because of the eerie sound of crunching gravel it makes as it walks behind climbers. But what gets you first is a general feeling of unease and fear. Some unusual footprints have been found at the mountain, which confirms the existence of the Grey Man. The first ever encounter with the presence was in 1891, when J. Norman Colley, an experienced hiker, professor, and member of the Royal Geographical Society, recounted the chilling experience he had as he hiked alone near the summit of Ben MacDewey. He was so extremely terrified by this experience that he didn't say a word about it until 1925. Number 5. The Tunguska Event in 1908, near the Podkamenyeva Tunguska River in Siberia, Russia, a massive explosion occurred that nobody could explain, not even modern-day scientists. This event was so unexpected and baffling that it has sparked many a conjecture, rumor, and even conspiracy theory over the years. Here are the facts that we know for sure. The explosion happened at 7.13 a.m. local time on June 30th, 1908. Although it was quite an impressive explosion, it left no impact crater, which is highly unusual. The event occurred in the middle of a forestall area, and it managed to flatten about 500,000 acres of pine forest. Some people reported a giant fireball, followed by a mild earthquake and strong, hot winds powerful enough to knock people over. Several seismographs in Eastern Europe recorded seismic waves and activity from the event. The explosion was so insanely massive, it was visible from 500 miles away. But here's where it gets a little bizarre, abnormal even. After the strange explosion, Siberia and parts of Europe experienced unusually bright nighttime skies for a while. The radiant energy from the Tunguska event is estimated to have been the equivalent to the power of 15 megatons of TNT, which is about a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb that the Americans dropped on Hiroshima. Now, I know what you're thinking. This was probably just an asteroid or a comet colliding into the surface of the Earth. The thing is, they only found a few tiny fragments, each measuring less than a millimeter, so that theory simply doesn't stand. Number 4. Ghost Ship The Mary Celeste 
On November 7, 1872, the brigantine Mary Celeste set sail from the New York Harbor on its way to Genoa, Italy. On board the 282-ton ship were the captain, Benjamin S. Briggs, his wife, and their two-year-old daughter, along with eight crew members. About a month later, the ship was spotted by the De Grazia, a British brigantine. The Mary Celeste was adrift about 400 miles east of the Azores, with no sign of the captain, the Briggs family, or the crew members. The De Grazia sent a boarding party to investigate what was going on, but aside from several feet of water in the hold and the only lifeboat being missing, everything looked un damaged. The cargo of 1,701 barrels of industrial alcohol was intact, and there was still on board a six-month food supply. But what happened to the people who had sailed aboard the Mary Celeste, though? Actually, the Mary Celeste had a very dark past. It was first christened Amazon, but they changed its name after a series of very mysterious mishaps. The first captain to ever sail it fell suddenly ill and died on board. In another instance, the ship collided with another one in the English Channel. After that, it sailed for 12 years without incident until the last captain deliberately ran it aground in Haiti for no apparent reason. Thus was born one of the most durable mysteries in nautical history. Number 3. Beal Ciphers if someone told you that you could have the time of your life looking for a treasure, and if you find it, you'd be $60 million richer, what would you say? Well, as it turns out, you can. The only thing is you would have to decipher an impossible cipher text, which is a part of a set of three, but also one that nobody has been able to solve since 1885. The story of the Beale ciphers originated from an 1885 pamphlet with details about a treasure that had been buried by Thomas J. Beale somewhere in Bedford County in Virginia around the year 1820. Legend has it that Beale entrusted a box with the three cipher texts to a local innkeeper, but then disappeared, never to be seen or heard from again. The innkeeper kept his word for 23 years, but he eventually opened the box only to find clues for a massive treasure. Before he died, he gave the box to a friend who went on to spend over two decades trying to solve the cryptograms. But he was only able to solve one of them, which gave details of the treasure and the general location where it was buried. To this day, people are still trying to find this lavish treasure to no avail. Do you want to give it a try? Number 2. Jack the Ripper this may very well be the most mysterious case of murders in history. Countless books, movies, theater plays, and even songs have been made about the infamous butcher that terrorized the streets of Whitechapel in the East End of London in 1888. Jack the Ripper was a serial killer who mainly targeted female prostitutes who lived and worked in the slums of Whitechapel. The murders he committed were brutal, bloody, and extremely violent in nature. The fact that he carefully removed organs from at least three victims led the police to believe he had some kind of anatomical or surgical knowledge. Jack the Ripper is also extremely infamous for being the first ever serial killer to taunt and communicate with Scotland Yard through a series of very eerie and mysterious letters, all written in red ink. One of his atrocious letters, the most famous one, came with half of a preserved human kidney. The heading of this letter was From Hell. A hunt for the horrific serial killer lasted for a long time, but he was always a few steps ahead of Scotland Yard. The city of London was taken by a never-before-seen media frenzy. Every newspaper had the Ripper in the front page. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was terrified as well. At one point, the murders stopped, but the Ripper was never caught. A lot of people have many different theories as to who it may have been. There are extensive research case studies, but the truth is, we will never know. Number 1. The Disappearance of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 Do you think a plane could just disappear? Well, this story is about exactly that. On March 8, 2014, a Malaysia Airlines passenger jet vanished in mid-air during a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The plane took off at exactly 12.41 a.m. local time, and the transponder was switched off just as the plane was about to enter Vietnamese airspace. In these situations, the procedures for the Malaysian military and civilian radars to track the plane, and so they did. But then, something very bizarre happened that still today nobody can truly explain. The plane changed its course radically and for no apparent reason. There was no message of distress, and the captain did not ask for permission to do so. By 2.22 a.m., Malaysian radars completely lost contact with the plane over the Andaman Sea. The plane was never heard of or seen since. 
How could a plane just disappear? No wreckage has ever been found, and no SOS signal ever received. It's like an entire plane just vanished into thin air. The Malaysian Prime Minister, Najib Razak, announced that based on the analysis of the flight's final signals ever received in cooperation with the UK's Air Accidents Investigation Branch, they can only conclude that the plane must have crashed somewhere in a remote part of the Indian Ocean, but nothing was ever found. In 2015, some plane parts started to wash ashore in Africa, suggesting that maybe the plane broke up in the air. The change in flight path had been done manually from inside the plane, but how or why the plane disappeared remains one of the biggest mysteries of aeronautical history. As you can see, science and advancement are not always enough to explain some mysterious and bizarre events. Of all the unexplained and unsolved enigmas in this video, which one do you think you could explain? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.